Welcome back to another episode of the Giga Hub, where we talk about things that are important to us but may not be important to you. Should I wait until you're done <laughs> chewing? No. Am I being rude? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> we started the show. Am I be- okay. I'm host one of three, Louis Stilatori. I'm Daikaiji Tony. And I'm Adam Cran. Mm. <laughs> and I'm eating a cookie. Who's your friend? <laughs> pumpkin Jack. Pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin. I thought you were going to say Pumpkin Jack. Pumpkin Jack. That's the, the Pumpkin the Jack. The Pumpkin. Oh, it's skeleton. It's Jack skeleton. Skelly. I don't know. All right. All righty. So let's talk about our sponsor, Cosmic Comics. The Yeah, look, show them around. Can I move your gigantic head. Let them see what's behind you. There we go. The <laughs> the jewel of the Mojave Desert, everybody. We have everything that you could ever want or need. And That's I do true. mean everything you could ever want or need. Ever. You don't need food. You don't need groceries. You do need Spider-Man Epic Collection Volume 1 through yeah. 6. Yes. What you don't need, central heating. <laughs> So stop paying your stop paying your bill. Come come by buy comics. Right. Um, what it, show them, show them a little bit of what we got. The, the man of destiny. That, no, what no? Yeah. The hand of destiny. Oh, the hand of destiny. Oh my god. I don't. Did you just did you, did you just see man o and thought it was man? No, no you know what? If I would have actually <laughs> read it, I just kind of glanced at it. I'm, I'm man o oh, man of destiny. Lucha libre action. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. The Hand of Destiny, yeah. everybody. The so Hand of Destiny. You've learned something new today. What do you got, Tony? I got, on the topic of today's episode, the manga I Am a Hero, which Ooh. is a really good zombie manga about a um, 30-something-year-old manga artist who... Bring it close to your face. 30 30-something-year-old manga artist who gets caught amidst the uh, zombie apocalypse. All the zombies are unusual, like... Sometimes there'd be a slow zombie. Sometimes there'd be a zombie that's athletic, but his head would be all crushed still. Mm. Um, and his specialty is that he has a shotgun because the Japan's it's the best lo- superpower. Japan's gun laws are a little bit different. Very strict. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so he has it for a real shotgun. Yes. Right. Wow. Not like what well, I remember seeing a documentary where they they have um, facsimiles. That shoot BBs, plastic BBs. Oh, the uh, that's well, like the yeah, best. The airsofts. Air yeah. Yes, the airsofts. All right. So look, I, I'm, what I'm going to show you guys. Look, this isn't all just about <laughs> uh, adults and stuff, right? right? Like, that's, there's stuff here for everybody. I'm going to show you some cool kid stuff. Just yeah. a second. Uh, look at all that. Look at this. You got Clue, Scooby Doo Clue. Scooby Doo Clue, the best version of Clue ever. Can you see that? Yep. Yep. Wasn't that nice? That's cool. Yeah, you can play that with your kids or. <laughs> Get him into the Goonies with Goonies Monopoly. Yeah. I've never finished a game of Monopoly before. <laughs> what? So there's that. It's the Goonies, baby. Or hey, you guys. your kids could play with these Junji Ito Funko Pops. <laughs> Junji Ito Funko Pops. Here's Miss Fuchi. Very Aww, creepy. Very, very creepiest pop ever. Look how cute. Look how adorable. Yuko. Aw. The slug Isn't girl. Isn't that the nice? Can girl, you see yeah. that? Ugh. You see that? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you know, we got kid stuff here. You know, We're going to get all of them in eventually. Are you? We did order them all. Oh, yeah. the kids will love them. <laughs> you just put them in a corner of the room. <laughs> Tell them if they don't go to sleep, they might come to life. Who knows? Let the kids have fun. Let their imagination fly. It's Fuji, man. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pop is freaky. Anyway, oh, come on you down. You the manga itself. If that creeps yeah, you out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cut, yeah, his artwork is creepy. Yeah. Come on down. We still have plenty of outlaw energy for you to enjoy, right? <laughs> no, it's gone. <laughs> oh, it's gone? Outlaw energy is done. Though. That's it. That's so it, guys. Guys, we are out of outlaw. We are all out of outlaw. We are energy. all out of outlaw. I wish we had confetti. The, the advertising works. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Sold all the outlaw. Sold all the outlaws. <laughs> Did the last person who drank a die? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, we wouldn't know. We wouldn't know. Yeah, there weren't we, it would, If it happened, it happened out of the store, so it's not our problem. Anyway. Yeah. Come on down, buy some of our cool things, look around, yeah. talk to people, uh, <laughs> get their right. recommendations. The staff here yep. is very knowledgeable about everything in the store. Yes. True. True. So come here on Here in now. Las Vegas. And speaking of Las Vegas, today's topic, mm-hmm. the show today. The Army, Army of, of the, the dead. dead. Which takes place in Las Vegas. Well, you know. But not 2021 mm-hmm. Las Vegas. <laughs> Some weird iteration of Vegas. <laughs> sort of like 1997-ish Las yeah, Vegas? Yeah, <laughs> no, it's definitely a Mars Attacks era yeah. <laughs> Las Vegas. 
Um, now, here's the thing is it wasn't shot in Las Vegas. Oh, I believe that. It was shot in the casino in New Jersey. Oh, was it? Yep. And Some then all the, the s- desert parts were shot in like Arizona and stuff. Oh, okay. So some of the some of the ceiling mm. looked similar to the Venetian. I thought one shot was the Venetian, but mm. then other shots, I'm like, nah, it's not the Venetian. But, uh, it's quite possible. Hmm. All right, so Army of the Dead by uh, everyone's favorite director now, Zack Snyder. <laughs> I don't the man know how. Is just on top of the world. I don't know how Justice that League. happened. Yeah. yeah, the guy puts out a four-hour movie, and everyone is a Zack Snyder stan. I don't understand. Right. But okay, here we are. I guess here we are. Army of the Dead. Um, it is available uh, in theaters. You can you can watch is it in theaters. It it's really? in theaters. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Netflix exclusive. I thought it was as well, but wow. you can go. You, uh, it is available in theaters, or you can just stay home and watch it on Netflix. That's which, what I did. That's what you did. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. I didn't even know it was available anywhere else. I, I was thinking, like, man, if anyone saw it in theaters, it was probably it was probably Tony. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, didn't I know honestly, it was, I thought it was yeah, Netflix exclusive. Yeah. Me neither. So did I. So did I. So Army of the Dead, um, another self-serving Zack Snyder movie. <laughs> Because this thing is two and a half hours long. It, it did, f- yeah, it did seem long. Yeah, yeah. like we're just gonna. W- uh, so let's like, talk about the good. The guy <laughs> had a four-hour cut of a movie. Now we're just gonna let him have any time for. Okay, no, nope. Let's not get. Let's not get into the negative. So let's let's run down uh, Army of the Dead real quick. This is a spoiler-filled review, right? Yes. Um, just real quick, a rundown. So right. Army of the Dead is about. Uh, well, it's a zombie heist movie. Yes. Mm-hmm. So a military Which sounds great. On I paper, admit. it sounds fantastic. Yeah. Right. I did not know. See, here's the thing. I didn't read anything about it. And then right. when I finally watched it, I read the synopsis on Netflix. And I'm like, oh, it's a zombie heist movie. Right. I love this. Okay, let's do it. Low expectations, but I'm excited. I'm, I'm in, yeah. So basically. Sounds stupid and fun. Yeah. A military convoy uh, leaves Area 51 with something. We don't quite know what it is. Right. Until the military convoy hits a car. Mm-hmm. By someone getting <laughs> Head. Someone, someone, someone getting a blowjob. Someone getting a blowjob in a car, uh, and it unleashes what is in the truck, which turns out to be uh, basically zombie. patient zero patient zombie. Zero zombie. Um, yeah. And it just kind of runs amok in Vegas, and c- they seal off Vegas. And they, they seal off the strip. They seal off the strip. Yeah. Well, th- I didn't see any other Actually, part of Vegas. Well, what was so. funny is, yeah, when they. Z- they pan out of the strip. It's just empty desert, and I'm like, "What Vegas is that? <laughs> like, yeah. where, is, where is that they version did of show Vegas?" Some of the housings, yeah. like a one scene where there um, hasn't been empty desert in this valley yeah. for forty years. Yeah, <laughs> at least it just it, it looked like all it was was Vegas, and that was it. Everything was clustered in one street, and then there was just desert all around. Yeah. yeah. Um, which technically, lo- the strip isn't even technically in the city of Las Vegas. <laughs> but anyway. All right, so uh, they I infect digress. the population in Las Vegas. And then years later, uh, Bly, was it Bly Tanaka, who was played by Hiroyuki Sonata, right, who right. we reviewed right. uh, Mortal Kombat for. He was Which I was, I was surprised to see him. I was like, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Two Netflix big, movies? Or, they got a big name for the, yeah, this. Two streaming kinda, movies and one? He's arguably the biggest name in that movie, although not as recognizable to Western audiences. But as not Dave as much Batista. as Dave Bautista, yeah. yeah right. uh, so he was a casino owner who uh, tasks uh, Dave Bautista's character to get a crew together to recover $200 million so, from his casino. So but it's Ocean Elevens meets zombies. Kind of, yeah, yeah. But not all is what it seems, apparently. No. So, uh, um, so now we're supposed to talk about what's good. All right. Um, sure. Okay, so what's good? So the premise is good. Honestly, when I read it, I was very excited to see what was what was going yeah, to happen. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like a dumb, fun movie. Um, so yeah, I didn't really have uh, any sort of grasp as to what kind of movie this was going to be. And then I saw that yeah. opening. Yep. The opening montage with, um, I, I forgot what her name was. The, 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 the cover song to, to Viva Las, Viva Las Vegas. Vegas. Oh, right, right. Right. With all this stuff, going, which honestly I liked. The, yeah. I thought the opening was kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, it gave me an idea of what this movie could have been, mm-hmm. but it kind of lost that. At some point, yes. um, now to be fair, if you're watching this and not from Las Vegas, yeah, we are very biased about how the city is portrayed because that is literally the idea of Vegas from almost 30 years ago. I I think that that Vegas went away, that Vegas was dying in the late 90s and has long (laughs) since been gone by 2003 or four. There are no coins anywhere. Mm. You know, things like that. Like, Elvis yeah. impersonators are pretty much gone now. Yeah, nobody cares about it. Nobody cares anymore. Elvis, yeah. I mean, I guess you still see them occasionally, but it's not... Like, the 90s, there was Elvis impersonators in every casino. Like, Yeah. Yeah, it was... 
Anyway, sorry. Anyway. No, no, you're good. You're good. Um, there was one shot th- from that opening I liked. Basically, the guy with the parachute falling down. Oh, that, that was down. like that was heart wrenching to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Just slowly yeah, descending yeah. to his death. Yeah. Um, yeah, I th- I would say the more a- the the most accurate portrayal of Vegas in a movie is probably Con Air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sadly enough. So. <laughs> yes. So. Um, so. Okay. So the premise is good. I I really enjoy the opening. It gives you the sense of what this movie was going to be, which was just like a fun popcorn movie. Which I was like, okay, yeah, I could do with one of those. Sure. <laughs> Except. Um, <laughs> oh, we're supposed to be talking about what's good. Yeah, what's good? Um, <laughs> performances. Uh, everyone was. G- I liked people who were in it. I liked everyone who was yeah. in it. Dave Batista, obviously. Yeah. This was a part that was perfect for him to play. He doesn't have a lot of range. No. Um, yeah. But what, what he has been given, he does very well with. He's a he's like right. a big-hearted guy, and mm-hmm. that's mostly a lot of what he plays, is like big-hearted dudes. Right, right. So, Drax. you know, that, that works. Yeah, Drax. Um, yeah, I, don't, I, liked, uh, I liked Omari Hardwick. The, uh, as uh, yeah, Va- for, uh, Vanderho. For what, yeah, for what little part he had. Yeah, he was all right. Um, yeah, so like the characters were good. Um, everyone's portrayal of those characters were good. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I mean, the zombie tiger was cool. Yeah. Yeah, the zombie tiger. I was, was cool with cool. the zombie tiger. Yeah. Yeah. And it was very CGI, but it was like, oh, cool. Oh, okay. oh. Which actually, they did use an actual tiger. Oh, did they? Wait, yeah. really? Not an actual tiger. Like, they basically well, like, modeled yeah, a tiger. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. I was going to say, it didn't look like a real tiger um, actually. No. Although the zombie horse was a horse covered in makeup, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Maybe, I mean that's fine. He looked, he looked cool too. Um the little character that because most of the most of the characters I was either meh or this character's like awfully written, but the one character that I really liked was the one who was supposed to open the lock. Oh yeah, the the uh, Dieter. Dieter. Yeah. The, like the, the, the safe German cracker, guy, yeah. yeah. He was the only character I that love, I really liked. Yeah, I love his <laughs> bromance with Vanderho. Yeah, I did like their like they just that they just kind of built. A, apparently, that wasn't that wasn't really in the script, and they uh, made it. They uh, they basically made that work. Yeah, they, the that actors was cool. made a conscious cool, decision yeah. to make that work, so that was great. Um, and one other positive I'm trying to think of. <laughs> oh, I've got a positive. <laughs> the, the action scenes because the action scenes remind me of Left 4 Dead and I and Call of Duty Zombies, and I play those two games a lot. Well, not really a lot. Like, Clearly, Zack Snyder did too. No. Oh yeah. There's oh, I'm sorry. Positives. We're supposed well, to be sticking to positives. Well, there's one. De- there's one detail <laughs> that makes me think that yeah, Zack Snyder must have played Call of Duty Zombies for yeah. some of the, some of these things. Clearly. So like, I wasn't <laughs> expecting it to be like realistic zombie. No, I wasn't shooting. Either. I was fine with the action scenes for what the movie was supposed to be, but we'll talk about the negatives in a second. <laughs> um. So like, I was mm. fine with like the gunplay and like the shooting is out. Whatever. I was fine right. with that. I didn't have yeah. a problem with that. Um. And also, uh, you know, I really liked Tig Notaro. I really liked her character as right. a helicopter I like pilot. How, I, I thought like how she, she was, was always smoking around jet fuel. Like, yeah, oh yeah, she was, <laughs> she's a very weird character, and I really yeah. like her. Yeah, she was okay. She, uh, she replaced, of course, uh, Chris Delia, De- Delia oh, wow. who had gotten into some really bad trouble. Oh, wow. So, oh, what? You know, mm. so apparently, he, I, well, I'm not going to get too much into it, but, you know, uh, talking to underage Young ladies, oh, type of stuff. Uh, yeah, of so course. he was replaced, and she was digitally added in, and they reshot a bunch of stuff oh, with really? her. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, she wow. wasn't anywhere oh, near the cast. That, yeah. They they basically shot her by herself. Well, that makes sense because she did her sort of feel like she was separate most of the time from yeah. the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, but I thought she was a great choice. Honestly, I, I really liked her character. Yeah, I liked a lot of the characters, not all of them, not all of them, but for the most part, I think everyone did a really good job. I actually didn't like at first. I didn't like uh, Guzman of the Dead. <laughs> Oh, and the, his girlfriend, the but I ended up like no, them. dude. They were they were, they were cool. Them. I, they were I liked cool. them. Bloggers, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were like, cool. It's, uh, it's one of those things where you yeah. think like, yeah, this could probably well, this would probably happen. Oh, yeah. if, if a zombie apocalypse did yeah. ever happen, like I thought yeah, she was badass. given given the yeah, stuff. Oh, she that, was cool. I I wish. Well, anyway, yeah, given the we're stuff not there that, yet. <laughs> yeah, given the stuff uh, that I don't know the Paul brothers have done. Like, yeah, I, w- I wouldn't be surprised if this would actually happen if zombies were real. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there'd be some idiots out there doing doing something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any uh, any other positives? Uh, makeup, makeup for the zomb. Well, not not well. Some of the background zombies, they kind of look like just people covered in just gray makeup. But like, yeah. the I main, mean, you they, always get some of that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the main zombies, when you look up close to them, like, yeah, they, they look good. Yeah. They, yeah. Mostly, yeah. I didn't have a problem with that. Yeah. Um. 
Gosh, I can't really think. I, again, that opening was um, the opening. Las Vegas was... got nuked at the end. That's a positive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if only I was in it. Mm, what it happen? Yeah. yeah, very. Um, there's a lot of um, little homages Spoilers. um in this movie. Obviously, that one being yeah. from uh, uh, Return of the Dead, which right here, check it out. I got a good zombie movie shirt on. There you go. Yep. Um, Louisville gets nuked at the end of that. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, apparently, there's a bunch of Star Wars references in there. Oh yeah, there's yeah. American. There's some. There's some shots that are like shot for shot and dialogue from other movies. Yeah. Um. The, one of the main ones I can think about is there was a scene earlier where they're kind of like running and one of them falls, and he's like, "Oh, you really scared me, you jerk!" And then the zombie tackles him. I was like, "That was American War from London. That was the beginning when." Yeah, he falls, and I was just like, "Wait, what?" Well, actually, yeah. you oh, know yeah. what? And you it know, it was what? like li- even the dialogue. I was like, "I've seen this before." Y- you know what? I was and there o- was a lot of that. I was okay with with that stuff. I think it gave it like. Here's the thing, it had a very like, uh, it had a very old school zombie movie feel. It's like, I, I don't know. It's it, it, like. Like a like a night like an eighties nineties bad zombie movie, but like a good bad zombie movie. That was the vibe that it had. Unfortunately, it was not a good bad didn't, zombie. Didn't movie. live so, up. Yeah, didn't that was the thing. That something vibe, yeah. like House of the Dead two. <laughs> it was like a yeah. yeah it was actually, you know what? It was like a, a it was like a Romero zombie movie if it wasn't intelligent or very good. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like it had the feel of like this could have been like a like a modern day Romero movie, but just it's it's so. It's so devoid of like nuance. Well, I mean, Romero did make a heist zombie movie. Um, that was his last zombie movie, which is not often. Most people don't even know about it called Survival of the Dead. Yeah. And it doesn't start off well, and I mm-hmm. think that turned even a lot of hardcore Romero fans off. Right. But, you know, his had a very strong message. Basically, the idiot humans went for the money anyway. Right. Even though the world is gone, yeah, <laughs> like w- doesn't even make which, any sense. By the way, that's one of the other problems I had with yeah. this movie. But okay, we'll we'll get to that well, in a second. It was only what, Las Vegas. But, but what what I'm saying is like, yeah, that's the that's the vibe it sort of gave off. As to was it that good? No, not at all. But that was like the vibe I was getting from it. Like late, like late mid mid early nineties action zombie flick that you're not really supposed to think. <laughs> I wish at, you know I what wish I mean. It's like that yeah and uh, uh yeah uh, it didn't um any any, any, any other positives stuff? any positives not really yeah i yeah. mean there's like okay so even at a point where i didn't really like the flow of the story the only like the only parts within las vegas that i really really liked was when they're like trying to open the giant safe and then they they try testing it out with one of the zombies. Yeah, that, that was, was pretty enjoyable. That was actually yeah, pretty, was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a pretty good like little that. It, like if they had kept it like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that would have been like like this movie had to be just sort of bat crap crazy the whole time. Yes. Like and not, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Like let let's <laughs> this movie sh- this movie told me we're not going to have a lot of substance. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of style, and then they're like, "Just kidding! Here's some substance." And it's like, yeah. "No, no, here's come some on. dumb substance." Here's some, yeah, uh, melodrama. Here's some dumb melodrama. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Plot, so plot threads. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> <sighs> okay, before we go into the bad stuff, before we go into the bad stuff, well, let me just say one thing because I'm I'm so emotionally <laughs> drained from being mad at Zack <laughs> Snyder. Like, I I was so excited. I was like, Zack Snyder's back, baby. No, he no, was not. No, um, not. Unfortunately, Back. I don't think he was ever here. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I like three hundred. <laughs> three hundred is yeah, Watchmen his was decent. Best movie what? Watchmen actually was decent. That he fumbled at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Sucker punch. He fumbled at sucker the punch end. Sucker punch. Besides, punch was besides the yeah. weird mess, like he was trying to really be like, "Ooh, I'm in your head," type. Yeah. Freaky. Sucker punch was just. Icon. Yeah, it was just like, like as a visual thing, I enjoy it. Not so much for the story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but. But in the case of Watchmen, like, there was a mischance with the ultimate director's cut with, like, he could have changed the ending or... Yeah. 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 Instead of, you know, developing yeah. a whole freaking Black Freighter animated segment. Point, yeah. point being... I like that. Point being is, like, like someone, someone, or not even just someone, a lot of people like this stuff. A lot of people like his work. And yeah. I don't want people to think that every time we slam one of his movies on this show... That we <laughs> that we are trying to deter you 
from That's watching true. this show or from watching th- these films. If you enjoy <laughs> them, please do enjoy them. These enjoy are them, only yeah. our opinions. It's true. Love what you love. That's totally fine. I'm done being mad and upset with this guy. <laughs> but yeah. this movie sucked. But this movie was not good. <laughs> this movie was not good. It right. started well. It started. Okay. It started. I thought it. St- I'm with you. I thought it started great. And, um, then, and then it just kind of like uh, a lot of peaks and valleys, a lot of highs and lows, more lows than highs, lows. unfortunately. Are you ready to get negative here? Yes. Uh, you're just All bursting right. at the <laughs> seams. <laughs> you go, uh, okay, sure, yeah. Please run down uh, your list of everything negative. Uh, this movie really thought it was <laughs> far more clever. Like yeah. it, it like really... Oh, for sure. Or Zack Snyder, I don't know, or the movie. It like it wanted to be really clever, mm-hmm. but it wasn't. Um, it was just full of really bad stereotypes, like just not good stereotypes or stereotypical situations that just unfolded very perfunctorily. Yes. It was just, it was just, uh. oh, my God. And oh. then the forced drama, like really just dumb shit. Yes. Not, sorry, not to mention, <laughs> you remember the movie Aliens? Yeah. Sure do. Yeah, yeah you saw that again because he clearly lifted that script right into this movie because mm-hmm. it's pretty much the same film. Right down to the corporate guy with ulterior motives, uh-huh. and not the real reasons they're there. You know yeah. what I mean? And apparently, yeah, apparently, uh, again, like that feel that like er, late eighties, early nineties yeah. feel well, that I was why. getting was because he was picking up <laughs> a lot of why. things from like movies yeah. at that time. And and the way that it's presented, like, okay, so does this guy own a pharmaceutical company or something? Because last time I checked, this guy only owns a casino. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, there was one part early on that really bothered me. Thankfully, oddly enough, I was surprised near the end. The first thing, them going in for a bunch of cash, was like, that's stupid. That's Real cash has no real value other than what we assign to it. And all that cash is insured. He wouldn't need to retrieve Well, that it. was the thing. And was, sh- and no, I know. And that right. actually came out that oh, oh, he okay. doesn't care about that. And I was like, oh, okay. That, oh, thank you. Well, that's not what I mean. What I meant was I, I remember seeing, hearing a part of the movie where he's like, good, the cash is insured. I did have so, I ha- so I got that money back. However, there is money there so now there's more money there so it's still, like yeah. Yeah, yeah it was kind of silly um yeah. but then again it turned out he wasn't there for the money mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> i really um, would have preferred it if they if they had some other reason to go there besides the money it, cash if it would have been some kind of asset or some kind of yeah 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 you know, gold i don't know something, yeah, I, got something. A, I got a hard drive with some very incriminating evidence yeah, or something who knows? Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 um you know, some of that just didn't make sense. You know, you're going to hire a team to go in. Why don't you hire a team for the real reason? I want a zombie head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, oh, it wasn't okay. even a head. It well, it had to be one of those thinking, thinking zombies or whatever he, the hell all he, the alpha uh, zombies, all he yeah. needed was, was a vial. But well, he, no, he said he needed the blood. He was really after the head. He oh, lied really? about that. Yeah, he oh. told her that. He goes, I told you that because I needed your help. But oh. I need the head because he wanted the, he wants the ability to make zombies or something else. I don't know. Oh, I think he wanted to sell a tip so that they could make yeah. armies of zombies. Right. Like, yeah. That are controllable. Which, which is, you know, Return of the Living Dead 3. Yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah. Return of the Living Dead 3 is all about. Yeah, there's a lot um, of, like, those little things where you're just like, wait, why would you just, Why would you logically do that? You know, and, th- and then on top of that, they spend all this time building up the whole Batista daughter thing. Oh, God. Oh, only, she only, sucks. Only, yes. only she to sucks. have that pretty much forgotten about until the last 15 minutes of the film. It's I like, li- I don't it, like it, it was such a big part of everything up until they went into the casino or into the Vegas, you know, quarantine Vegas. Mm-hmm. And then it was literally forgot about almost all the way until the very finale when she decides to run off, even though they all know there's a nuclear bomb coming. And it was just like, uh, what? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, 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 now you, you're going like, to try you, to be yeah, your friends. You know, there's less than an hour left. You're going to find this person? Not to mention, she clearly travels. Probably at least about a mile down a casino, up a casino, like yeah. to another. And, like, and they had ten minutes left. <laughs> yeah. And here's the thing: the person she tries to like, save dies in the end. Yeah, actually. yeah. A- everybody, everybody well, dies except the one lady. The one lady. No, she's died. Oh, she, she died oh, in the she helicopter did die. crash. That's right. She did die too. That's she right. died. The pilot died. Yeah, that was so. Dumb. I mean, like, technically, Vanderhoe made it out. Everything. Alive. Yeah. Everything you did. Yeah. Everything you did failed. Yeah. Well, which is well, which the, is the fine. Lived. The daughter lived. The daughter, but who cares? Yeah. Who cares, yeah. Yeah, I kind of and wanted he, to die in that desert because screw her. Yeah. Honestly, like. This is dumb. That's dumb. Like, if the you wanted to give, dumb. like, a really dark, bleak a, ending, I, I don't mind that. But the way it came about is so yeah. stupid. Oh, yeah. It yeah. was just so idiotic. And then you get Theo Rossi, right? Up right. and comer. Freaking fantastic and everything that guy's in. Wasted. 
Mm. Wasted. You know, they, they sort of set him up as kind of this really nasty bully. Scumbag. Who, who, is, in a, a scumbag, who yeah. is in a position of authority. Mm-hmm. And then just nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Just pretty much forgotten about for the rest of the movie and then, you know, shows Pops up near the end and dies. And right. just like... Re- you you paid to have him in your movie and did nothing with him. Yeah, gave him nothing because like you, yeah. Here's the thing: if the Romero zombie movies probably are, one of the best actors in that movie. Yeah, if the Romero <laughs> zombie movies ever taught me anything is that the human bad guys have to be like the most despicable oh, people yeah. ever. Yeah, and well that well that way you don't feel bad about him being used as a sacrifice. Right? <laughs> yeah. So but like that, yeah. That happened, like, well, what was early. funny is I called that too. I guess this is a positive, right? When she said like out of the blue after he kind of was there, she's like, "We need another person." I'm like, "Oh, shoot him in the leg and leave him." And sure enough, that happened like five minutes later. I was like, "Yes, <laughs> just wow. shoot him in the leg and leave Which, him." Which, by the way, I I yeah. loved her. The the coyote yeah. Nora Ar- Arenzender. Yeah. I can't say her name. I'm so screen. sorry. I'm yeah. so sorry. And um, her whole thing, just the stupid fake forced melodrama with that whole thing. Like, like I'm so repentant, and but yeah, yeah, like that, for what? I leave people behind. <laughs> you either, wait, 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 you wait, either wait, do wait. it or you yeah, don't exactly, do it. Yeah. Exactly. I'm so repentant for what I've done. Like, so why are you still doing yeah, it? Like, and like you, he even she said like some people don't come back. Like, okay, so you, the way, but the way yeah, she made it sound later in the movie like, is just one person didn't come back with her, <laughs> right. and that was the mom. I'm like, didn't you just say people don't make it back? But then she, said, but then it she back? said another time about some other guy. Or yeah, I. Yeah. Uh, then don't do it anymore. Like, that's not her <laughs> fault. All right. Again, uh, so Zack Snyder wrote this. Right, yeah. Did the cinematography right. on top of the directing. Ugh. So he had, like, he basically had three jobs and no one to look at the script or doctor the script in any way, shape, or form. I, go ahead, sir. This really feels like a f- one, like, it, it, it feels like it had one rewrite. Like, this script had one rewrite. <laughs> At best. Or just it really lost it in editing. Maybe because the editing didn't come together, he mm. had to edit it in such a way to keep the flow of the action that the story was lost somewhere. I don't that, know. That could be. I mean, that's I possible. feel like he wrote a rough that draft. certainly happened with other movies and other directors. He wrote a rough draft, <laughs> yeah. showed it to a friend who's not in the movie business, because he's like, I'm trying to sell it to the people, man, so I want you to read it. And then he was like, or he or she was like, this is what I would change. And then, like, <laughs> it didn't. it still didn't make any sense because right. this person is not, like, a script writer or anything. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, guess. neither am I. I'm not going to sit here and, and complain about something well, like that. I, but, like, as someone who watched the movie and didn't enjoy it, like, it's just, it's not very well written, unfortunately. Well, that's that's one of the things that bothers me about a lot of modern movies is it's like, it's like script writing in general has become so homogenized. It's like the same beats, the same mm. character yes. over and over. Now, granted, there's only so many things you can do, but it's like, it's literally, it's like nowadays, it's like they don't even try. They just keep using the exact same setups and the yeah. exact same story yeah. guys and the exact same. Go ahead. One exact same beat that I'd and like to mention, like, which I've definitely seen in a crap ton of other movies right. before, is when uh, the coyote girl, she swaps the zombie head with the money making machine. Right. And yeah. when the guy, when the obviously evil guy uh, backstabs him and tries right. getting away and he gets eaten, like the Paul Reiser of this piece. <laughs> yeah. I've like, I've seen it so many times. Right. The, the, oh, the, the agent? Yeah. The, By the, the way, guy, yeah, yeah, I was happy to see that guy, Garrett Dillahunt. I yeah, yeah, he's he's, he's a good actor. He's, good, yeah. he's like he does a lot of TV work, a lot of yeah. like bit parts mostly. But like, I'm glad to see that guy got work. Good for yeah, him. Yeah. I'll see him getting getting killed by a tiger. Was oh, that cool. was pretty. That, that was, was pretty cool. boss. Yeah. <laughs> that was, cool. that was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Was cool. Um, like the whole setup to that, I'm like, I I I know what was going to happen. By the way, nobody cared that he betrayed them. Like nobody cared. Yeah. Just. Uh... There was like no payoff to that in any way. I mean, for us as the audience, not yeah, mention, because like he yeah. got eaten by the not to mention the Guz- tiger. Guzman's girlfriend's last words, other than "run," well, you know what would have been better? Kill him. <laughs> yeah. he's gonna betray or something. Yeah, because she yeah. knew he did it. Oh, I mean, she was. I don't know if she was onto him, but she had a suspicion. No, because he the locked thing? the door. He yeah. had he had thrown that thing in the door, and she's like, "Let me in." He's like, "Hey, sorry, gotta go." Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. She should have said something about that. Day, something, yeah. yeah. She was cool. Yeah, I liked her. Yeah, yeah I, wish I, I, I would like. I would have liked to have seen her like somehow she's in the middle, and they just assume she's dead, and then she shows up again <laughs> like, on a motorcycle, like, all bleeding all yeah, over, yeah. just effing stuff up. Like, yeah. I would have been okay with that because that would have matched the tone of what I thought the movie was going to be. Mm. But, yeah, yeah, it just. Hey, anyway, back to my whole screenwriting thing and that whole thing. It's like Zack Snyder, it's almost like he just, he thinks or he wants or I don't know, maybe he's trying to make a movie that's all things to all people. Right. And and it turns out to be not very good in any category. Yeah. It doesn't turn out to be a super bat crap crazy film. It doesn't turn out to be 
a super dramatic film. It doesn't turn out to be kind of a just a fun zombie movie. It, it ends up not being any of those things that he's desperately yeah. trying to make it all of those things. Mm-hmm. Um, there's only like 10 minutes of... I, I know I... Move, there's only 10 minutes of the movie that I actually like, like. Right. Yeah, there, I mean, there's some good bits. I Like I said, I really like the whole... <laughs> when they were getting the zombies down there to test the pressure plates on their Indiana oh, yeah. Jones safe. Yeah, that, that was great. By the way, none of those kind of vaults exist in Las Vegas. Aww. Unless it's a very old casino and they probably don't use it to store money. Because there's no of. reason of. Well, not in any of the casinos that I've been. That we know of. Um, oh. Yeah. Because um, there's just no reason for it. Mm, there's no need yeah. for that kind of security. Um, but, uh, you know, I didn't mind sort of like the bird-like zombies at first. But then the which, which zombies? The birds? The smart ones where they kind of move oh, like dinosaurs yeah, yeah. Or, or birds, which I only I can only assume that he was trying to go for the whole idea of, you know, there's lower functions that are sort of taken over because these dead bodies, so which is the lizard brain. Yeah, yeah. I think he was going I, for like I a he was going for, yeah. combining like Romero zombies but and, did, and 28 did. Days Later type zombies yeah. into yeah. one sort of thing. Well, he did. He had fast zombies in his Dawn of the Dead. Yep. Oh, did he? But his, okay. his bird-like zombies, it just it got to be too much. They mm. just did it so much, it just got to be distracting. I'm fine um, with running zombies as long as they got other stuff to do than just you know, run and snarl all over I, the place. I don't understand what Zack Snyder's obsession is with zombie babies. <laughs> I really, he's made two zombie movies, and both of them had zombie infants. Did that? No, I didn't Ugh. see the remake of Dawn of the Dead that had a zombie baby in it. <laughs> yes. And Except in that case, she was pregnant when she got bit and then died, and then the zombie also, the baby also died and oh, turned okay. into a zombie. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought that was kind this of This one, weird... I think, was conceived as a zombie, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah. zombies could procreate? What? Yeah. I, you know what? I, you want to do something different with zombies. You want to do that kind of, you want to go there, fine, but they're not dead the yet. fact that they had sort of a very, it was like it, everything was implied that they had a very traditional sort of human man and woman relationship. Was like, wait, <laughs> and, here's, and like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> all right, you want to have zombies have babies, fine, but they just they sort of had this traditional man and wife <laughs> sort of relationship. And, like, what? And here's the thing: I don't know. It just seemed weird to me. Yeah, like they love. Hey, they loved each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so dumb. Hey, she was his ride or die. Okay. Yeah. yeah right. And yeah, here's right. the thing: at that specific, not not to mention his number one scout. Sorry, Tony. Go at ahead. that specific scene <laughs> and ongoing, like. The zombie baby glows blue, and all you see in the background, you see zombies with their eyes glowing blue. I'm like, wait a minute, is this Call of Duty Black Ops 2 zombie? Right, right. That was the other thing, too. So, like, I noticed some of the zombies had blue blood, or there would be sparks. So, uh, I remember seeing, a, uh, I was watching something that was showing that a lot of them had robot bits. Yeah, I remember. What is like up with one that? Zombie, Did they like, abandon that idea and just not take it out I of the know. movie? I don't remember, I remember saying that, because Wendy and I watched it, and, like, one zombie got shot in the head, and I'm like, did he have a robot? Like, his eye was glowing blue, and it looked like he had a metal skull. I'm like, what? Wait. Uh. And she's like, that's, I think, I think she said, yeah, I think that was like that, too. But no, it couldn't have been. And I'm like, yeah, I guess not. Yeah. I mean, well, it doesn't I matter. That. Okay, it wasn't just me. It doesn't matter, because they got nuked. <laughs> yeah. And now there's, like, no trace or anything of it. Like, what was that supposed to be? Yeah. Was that I, uh, was that cut out of the movie? And, like, they just didn't take the, those parts out of it? I Like, yeah, I, don't, I, don't I don't get what that was supposed I just, to be. Yeah, you look like it, a robot, yeah. Is, <laughs> is, like, wait, what? Is that, like... Is there going to be another movie? I, I heard he'd signed on to make more of this. So, I, I don't know. It might be like a precursor to... I, I don't know. Like, no, no, none of the characters would know. They're all dead except for the daughter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, just, and the daughter. Jesus. Oh, my God. I hate yeah. her character so much. She's the worst. Well, at She's first, the absolute worst. At first, you kind of admire her, but then, like, nothing really... It just turns into, like, okay, you're not even being smart about it you're just being a moron yeah yes like <laughs> uh, again 10 minutes left now i'm gonna go look for this lady yeah. even i had all this time to do it but yeah. now i'm gonna go do now it i'm going to do it yeah and well, yeah it's like you said a, a, a mile downstairs a mile upstairs and they still had enough yeah. time to chop it like, and it was city. like we had the chopper literally had to leave one building and go like way down the strip to another casino i'm like she made all that distance in 15 minutes? Get yeah. the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And like, here, well, uh, and, uh, another thing is that uh, they, the president decided to nuke it like early. A day early. Yeah. Because like, oh, it'd be so cool. I'm like, if the president well, is clear, actually, clearly, yeah, clear, no, clear clearly, yeah. Clearly that supposed president, to be Trump. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, it's clear who that president yeah. was supposed, supposed to, to be. be yeah. yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would be very cool. 
Yeah. If I mean, we did it on the 4th of July. I mean, visual, like, in terms of, like, visuals, like, I think that's something Zack Snyder would do. <laughs> Considering, like, um, <laughs> what, what he did with Watchmen, like, oh, it'd be cool to have Dr. Manhattan's energy blow up, like, different parts of the world yeah. instead of having the one squid. Yeah, 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 maybe. Well, that was another problem with this movie is it felt like there was, what if we had a scene like this? That would be cool. And then you kind of write a script around that. It always sort of sticks out. Like, you have all those zombies hibernating. There was no reason for that. At least not to do it that way. They didn't really um, do much with that. Or right. even in the beginning. Like, when they enter, when they, well, okay, first of all, the entrance to Vegas, that was like the most weakest little yes. leak I've ever seen. Yes. And when they enter, it's like, oh, yeah, the zombies, uh, they, they're... Be- they they weren't wise enough because like the heat. Oh, I liked. I actually liked that quite a bit. Yeah, but because he did anything. something different. Yeah. When they walked in and there's piles of mummified corpses. Yeah. And then she's like not even concerned, and they're like, they're all on edge, and then that's when she kind of explains like, like, yeah, water turns. She, she does make like, mention that the water kind of yeah. brings them back Which to life a little bit. Which I thought for sure, like, well, it's gonna rain near the end of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what I mean? but that no. didn't happen. Like, but that's the thing is like little things Chekhov's like that. Gun. Like, Chekhov's gun was <laughs> right. everywhere yeah. here, and none of it paid none off. Of it paid off. You had the baby thing. I'm like, okay, how's this gonna play out in the movie? No. It doesn't. It doesn't. Because that... everyone dies. Well, th- I think the baby was more of a was more of a mic. That was to show the evil, weird, the bad guy. Not the E. He wasn't evil. The antagonist zombie, I guess. Yeah. The, the king. Zeus. The Zeus. Zeus, yeah, yeah. Zeus zombie. Um, that was his MacGuffin. That was why he was doing everything he was doing. I thought the baby was, like, psychic or something because, like, yeah, maybe. he was listening to his belly. And he's like, okay, so is the baby zombie controlling all of them? Because yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Zack Snyder pulled that off. Yeah, and I've, yeah, I've yeah, seen no video kidding, games right? with baby zombies that actually <laughs> hurt people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, uh, yeah, this movie had so many like loose threads for you to sort of pull at, and like yeah. there was nothing. There was not a lot of payoff, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just and it's like I don't mind. Again, I don't mind if he wants to end this movie on a downer. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't yeah, mind but, that. Yeah. I just think that the way that we got there was so stupid, so, so dumb. idiotic. It was dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like if she was gonna go to find this lady, why didn't they just find the lady and just have it like work out some somewhere differently? Yes. Like the fact that she went off, that had to have been a whole another hour. <laughs> <laughs> that, that he had to go f- yeah. go to a casino, not knowing what casino to find her at. Yeah, not to like, mention like if you've ever walked casino floors, <laughs> like yeah. like we have. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just it would take you hours just to find the right floor. Yeah, <laughs> that, those, like those room. buildings are huge. I'm They're like, huge, how is he going to yeah. find her so quickly? Yeah, right. Apparently, he did. What are somehow. you going to go through hall to hall and start yelling? I mean, yeah, yeah. exactly. I heard exactly. A gunshot. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, you're in the bottom floor, and yeah. you heard oh, a gunshot. you're not hearing a mm-hmm. gunshot. Yeah, all those floors are concrete. Mm-hmm. No, no, I heard a gunshot, and it's definitely seven, eight floors up <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, so uh, like, like that. I know it's a little thing, but like, it's yeah. it just it's so well, idiotic. It was it was what it was. You know, if if the movie would have been a big fun, goofy zombie heist up to that point, you wouldn't have thought twice about it. Mm-hmm. But right. by that point. Clearly, we were all pretty much lost. Mm. The yeah. movie had lost us. So that was just yet another annoyance on the pile of yeah. little annoyances. I think you know this, what I mean? this movie definitely suffered from like this feeling of not knowing what kind of movie it really wanted to be. Well, the other I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. It did, it did at times feel like that it was trying to be a goofy zombie movie or like a... Well, yeah, it did. Because, like, and then it tried to be a very the, serious zombie The movie, Ground Zero right? Zombie. He had a helmet to deflect <laughs> uh, headshots. Right. Yeah. 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 I was a little dumb, but <laughs> I w- again, it's one of those things I would not have minded if this was just a big dumb movie. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. That's the thing. Exactly. It's, it's not a big dumb movie, and that's what I was. That's what I wanted. That's what I was expecting. Right. Me want big dumb right. movie. Me want big dumb movie. Yeah. Like if I want, if I didn't. I don't want like. I don't want a thinky zombie movie. Yeah. Right. Like. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes it's fine, but like, this, don't portray not... it as a big dumb movie and then try to give me a thinky zombie movie. Right. It's it's Romero was the master of creating yeah. movies that on the surface looked like, well, primarily his the original Dawn of the Dead. On the surface, it looks like a romp, an action adventure romp, but then it turns out it's kind of a much more subtle yep. satire on modern yeah. modern culture. And that, Romero's a master yeah. of that. Zack Snyder needs to stop trying to do that because <laughs> I don't know what this was. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't all things to all people. That's for sure. Yeah, uh, and is that about it? Are we done bashing this? Let's thing? Uh, let's well let's rate it four stars, guys. What do we got? Uh, one, one. What do you got? Four, four out of four. No, I'm Dang. kidding. I'm kidding. I give it. Do I have to give it anything? Didn't we just establish I still have to give it something? No, you don't have to give it anything. None. 
No stars? Half a star. You half know what? Star. Half a star for the for the whole hallway leading up to the vault with the zombies. That was pretty good. <laughs> that gets half a star. That was again their and their relationship. That was good. Yeah. Um that was good. I would give it a star. A star? One yeah. star. Um I think there was enough there uh you know uh, I don't know cuz like cuz you know what? No. I'm gonna, I'm also going to give it half a star because I'm really I'm getting Perturbed it's, it's, right it's, now because it's irritating to watch. I'm yeah. get no, like I'm getting upset because <laughs> here it. I was excited. Yeah. I read the synopsis. You saw the opening, and I'm like, yes, big dumb movie. Good. Ocean's, Ocean's Eleven with zombies. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah, Noth- I'm listen, in. I'm not us. I'm Ooh, not sorry. like so much of a snob that like big dumb movie not going to be good. I want big dumb movie. Yeah, kind of like how I, I want. I, I want to eat popcorn. Yeah, I want to eat popcorn. Yeah, yeah, let's watch it. This yeah. isn't. This is too much of a real movie. <laughs> I want to eat popcorn. <laughs> right. Want to watch big dumb movie, right. and it's like, but but I'm not really a big dumb movie. Here's why. Like, oh come on, yeah. come on. Oh, but wait, I'm a big dumb movie again, and then I'm not, and yeah. now I'm not going to make sense at all. Yeah, like oh what? Uh, yeah, like I. You know what? I'm going to give it half a star for getting my hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> One star just because there's there's like. There's some good bits. 10 to 15 minutes of scenes that I do legitimately like. It just feels like it comes from a different movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is une- uneven, I guess. I just, um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. You know, you get, you get movies like this. I don't know. It's almost like when you think about the script or, or the screenplay, and like I said before about how it's very cut and paste, but then you get movie like Knives Out, which... Have you seen Knives Out? I've seen Knives Out, yeah. Um, Just to give you an example, it it does nothing really unique as far as murder mysteries. It does nothing different. I mean, all these things have been done before, but it's crafted in such a way and so cleverly. I think it's crafted around these characters. Right, and it makes it good. Mm. You know, it's like there's a world. You know, I know he got bashed for uh, The Last Jedi, but. I mean, the guy clearly knows how to tell a story when he's given the time and the freedom to do so. Right. Um, and then you get this movie with Zack Snyder, who just, again, carte proves, blanche. Given carte blanche, yeah, by the again way. again proves that he just, he can't craft his own story. Mm. At least, you know, given carte blanche, maybe if somebody reined him in, I don't know. Um, well, the, the, so you think that I was... Th- I think Peter Jackson suffers from the same thing. So you but, think that's the problem he's with... A, he's a better filmmaker, He was given but, too much carte blanche. Right, yeah. It's yeah. just... I Because still, I mean, think about it. Zack Snyder's best films are when he adapts something else, not yeah. when he does something original. Well, we say best. Best for Zack Snyder. 300. 300. Followed closely and... Not that it held up, but Don, his remake of Dawn of the Dead, which doesn't even I haven't hold a candle it, so to the I original. Can't even say I, it's decent. It's just really, not great. I don't mm, like okay. that much at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. Yeah. Half a star for another Zack for another Zack Snyder joint. Zack Snyder joint. Uh, I all just right. you know what? I'm sick of hating everything. <laughs> Does it ever depress you that we hate a lot of things? Th- then make better stuff. That's, that's <laughs> my argument. Make better stuff. I mean, let's better just, guys, stuff let's just there. watch something good like Space Jam. Well, you know what is good out there? I mean, Invincible was fantastic. Yeah. It was. There we is better speak, stuff we that's did new. There speak is better highly stuff. Of, I mean, uh, I'd like to shout out some good uh, obscure zombie movies, like the live action adaptation of I Is Am there a live Europe. action adaptation? Yep. And Ooh. it's it has running zombies that are actually way more freakier. Train to Busan, amazing. Train, train to Busan, more yeah. recent zombie movie. I was told the which, sequel which is does also nothing, really good. Which does not. I heard it was decent. I does, not as good as the original, but I haven't seen it yet. Mm. Uh, which you know, again, another zombie movie that doesn't really do anything new, but it's crafted. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like clearly, the guy had a vision. And know? like on paper, Train to Busan sounds like a basic and mundane zombie plot, which but, like, also follows a lot of the original Night of the Living Dead. Oddly enough, yeah. <laughs> And which like, even except it's on a train. Which, with more by people. the way, is fantastic. Just <laughs> yeah. watch that. It like, has, this is na- start naming zombie movies that are better than this mo- zombie movie. Yeah, I, God, how much time we got? <laughs> like, has I would even go so far as to say, like, Return of the Living Dead Two is better than this movie, and that movie's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, but Train to has a better father and daughter story than Oh yeah, bringing, um, Army of the Dead. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, that was a good story. Sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but good. Yes. So there it took we... a zombie apocalypse to bring a father and daughter together. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's great. Anyway. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we're okay. Re- ready to get out of here. So there we go. There that's 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 Army of the Dead. That's Army of the that's Dead. Army yep. of the Dead. So it's funny, I, I met up with some friends the day before. Yeah. And I they had seen it already, and I was like, is it good? 
Like, is it is it like not as it good? Is it a fun movie to watch? Yeah. And they're just like, no. <laughs> It's not. That's how you know. It's and, not. And, and I'm honestly, just like, okay, well. There's a few friends on Facebook that tend to like everything. And even like one of them posted, I think, today. And it was just like, <laughs> like not good. And I was like, whoa, this dude likes everything. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's not just me this time. <laughs> Yes. I, there are people out there that like it, I'm sure. But oh, I'm sure there is. And you should still watch it if you're at all curious. Yeah, like I said, like I know, I think it's come to be known on this show that if we're going to talk about Zack Snyder, it's not usually going to be in a favorable <laughs> it's not light. Be in a positive but that light. doesn't mean that if you like it, you shouldn't watch it. I'm not going to sure. deter you from watching anything that you want to watch, especially if it's something Zack Snyder related. So, right. All right. Anything else before we get out of here? Uh, mm, watch Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, that's true. That's a watch. Return of the Living Dead. Yes. Yeah. This T-shirt is available on T Public. Artist is Go Fenris. G O F A E N R I S. I don't like that guy though. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk. He can be a little too intense at times. Yeah. <laughs> Gets really mad about movies, like intensely <laughs> mad. Uh, uh, Dork. What, what do you got, it, uh, Tony? <laughs> this face mask is also from T Public. Nice. It comes from Titan Goji, who I'm also in. Oh, that was funny. Your mask has green in it. I guess I still have the chroma key set. <laughs> it was oh. trying to it was trying to cancel it out. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> I okay. See that the color like. kept going. Dick, 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 dick. <laughs> oh, actually, no, no, this isn't from Titan Goji. Holy crap! What am I thinking? Uh, uh-huh. That's from T Public, but my friend Titan Goji has his own T Public. Nice, Titan Goji. Yeah. What and you, I'm also what do you in got? this podcast. Uh, I don't. I don't really have anything. This was the. This was the only thing that I saw today. <laughs> oh, that okay. I saw this week. Um, which you know I regret. <laughs> Obviously, I did also watch yesterday with Wendy because she's never seen them, the Evil Dead's. Really, I'm shocked. No, being a horror no. fan, I'm Aww. like, that's shame on you. Mm. We need to watch them. So, yeah. yeah, we got all the way up to we watched Army of Darkness. Ooh, Reanimator! Watch Reanimator. Reanimator's Reanimator yes. is a great Classic. movie, you guys. Yes. Reanimator. Classic. That's my recommendation. There you go. Go watch a good zombie movie. Brain dead. Brain dead. Yeah. Brain dead. Yeah. That's anyway, that's too. it. That's that's all I all got. Right. So. Um, hey. Guys, next week, Space Jam. Space no. Jam will Actually, out. probably no show next week. So I will be out of town for Or <laughs> Space Jam. No Space Jam. <laughs> if you guys want to do Space Jam, be my guest. Uh, I don't think it's even out yet. I'm not going to do Space Jam. All right. Anything and, else, guys? Uh, nope. That's it, guys. Oh. Uh, we will see you the week after next. Bye. Bye. Bye.